Welcome back to 242 Math. I'm your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we'll be dealing with BGCSE Paper 3, Grade 11 and 12 students. Here we go. Get your calculator ready as well. The functions f and g are defined as follows f of x equals x squared minus 1, g of x is x plus 2. A, calculate the value of g to the negative 2, and B, calculate the value of f to the 0. The timer is off and running, so let's go, grade 11 and 12 students. Functions. These will definitely be on the paper. 3, 2, 1. And we move on to question 2, the same functions. f of x, x squared minus 1, g of x is x plus 2. Calculate the value of gf of negative 1. Composite functions. You should be finishing off question two. And now we move on to question three. Same functions, f of x, x squared minus one, g of x, x plus two. Calculate the values of x for which f of x is equal to eight. And it says calculate the values of x for which f of x is equal to eight. So that gives you a clue. So it's just not one value it has to be more than one because it says values of x. So don't get tricked, my friends. Look at the questions carefully so you don't lose points. You should be finishing off this one now as we now move on to question four. Same functions, f of x, x squared minus 1, g of x, x plus 2. Determine an expression for the inverse of g of x. Inverse functions. The inverse of g of x. So you can determine an expression for that. Here I can hear some of you complaining. These must be hard because this is paper three, the final paper on this national mathematics examination. And I want you to get an A, B, or C. Nothing less. And you should be completing that by now when we move on to question five. You want to calculate the distance of Mike from Kim. You need to write that formula down, the cosine formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. Got it? Use it to answer this question. Calculate the distance of Mike from Kim. That's the cosine formula. It will be provided for you on the examination paper. So you don't have to memorize these formulas. You just need to know which one to use and how to use it. You needed the calculator for this one, guys. To calculate the cosine of C. Question six, calculate the bearing of Kim from Mike to the nearest degree. And you need that formula, sine formula, sine AOA is equal to sine COC. You got it? Use that to help you to calculate the bearing of Kim from Mike to the nearest degree. And remember, it says Kim from Mike. So you have to use that sine formula, find that angle, and then you need to do something with it in order to calculate the bearing of Kim from Mike to the nearest degree. 
again this formula will be provided for you this is the sine formula so once you're dealing with a triangle that is not a right angle triangle then you can use these formulas the cosine one to define the side the sine one will help you to find an angle and we move on to question seven calculate giving a reason for your answer the value of angle n and it shows in the diagram o is the center x w and x y are tangents the circle from a point x angle w x y is 50 degrees use that to help you solve it when you give your answer you have to give a reason for it to get full marks and we want all of the points I have a previous video on this I think the diagram is nearly identical to this one so look at that video it will definitely help you when you're dealing with the circle and circle theorems you should be finishing this one off and now we move on to question 8 same circle Calculate giving a reason for your answer, the value of angle M. So they just don't want you to give an answer. They want you to give an answer and give a reason for your answer. So you say, why? Yep, you should be finishing off this question, question 8, and now we move on to question 9. The variables Q and T are related such that Q is equal to 27 all over 3 to the power of T. A, calculate the value of Q when T is equal to negative 2. And you should be finishing off question 9. The final question is coming up. Question 10. Same variables. And now B. Calculate the value of T when Q is equal to 1 third. Stick in those values and work them out. Let's see what you get. This is as hard as it gets on paper three, guys. No problems. I will help you navigate through all of this. And you should be completing the 10 questions. That's the last one. Now, upcoming answers. Get ready to mark. Here we go. Grade 11 and 12 students. Question 1. Calculate the value of g to the negative 2. So we go to g of x, put in negative 2 for x. So it would be negative 2 plus 2, and negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Put it in your calculator if you're not sure negative numbers. Type it in, and it will show you the correct answer. And b, sorry, I have a, that should be b. Calculate the value of f of 0. So go to f of x, put in 0 where you see x. So x squared would be... 0 squared minus 1, 0 squared minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1, answer is negative 1. So, and that should be B for negative 1. Question 1, all done. And we move on to question 2. Calculate the value of GF of negative 1. The composite function is 2 working, so do F of negative 1 first. So where you see, go to f of x, where you see x, you put negative 1. So it's negative 1 squared minus 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Now put that value into g of x. So go to g of x, where you see x, you put 0. So you get 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2. 
So GF of negative 1 is 2. That is your final answer. Question 3. Calculate the value of x which f of x is 8. So go to f of x and put x squared minus 1 is equal to 8. Solve for x. x squared is equal to 8 plus 1. x squared is equal to 9. So if x squared is 9, the square root of x is square root of 9 x squared. Sorry, the square root of x squared would be square root of 9, which is 3. Now, it could be 3 or negative 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 or negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So that's where the, the answers came in. Two answers. X is 3 or X is negative 3. So remember that if you're dealing with square root and you get a, a straight answer. A whole number. Question 4. Determine an expression for the inverse of G of X. So go to G of X. Where you see G of X, you put Y. So put Y is equal to X plus 2. So you want to solve that for x now. So switch it around, x plus 2 is equal to y. Leave x at the front, x equal to y minus 2. Stop right there. That's the answer you need. All you have to do now is change the y to x. So where you have y minus 2, put x minus 2, that's it. So the inverse of g of x is equal to x minus 2. That's the expression that you need, x minus 2. That's it. And we move on to question 5, where you have to use the cosine formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. And we worked it down to C squared is equal to cosine of 60 was 0.5. So you got 48, 0.5 of 40, 24, 74, 24 is equal to 49. If C squared is 49, C is equal to square root of 49, C is equal to 7 meters. That would be the answer for C, side C. Remember, the formulas will be given, so you just have to know it. In this case, you needed a side, so that's why I use cosine. Now, this one, you have to use the sine formula. So, sine A over A over 8 is equal to sine C over C, sine of 60 over 7. Cross multiply 7 sine A is equal to 8 sine 60. Sine A is equal to 8 sevenths sine of 60, and that worked out to be 0 0.9897. So you, you find the inverse of sine A to get that angle, and that angle is 82 degrees. Use your calculator. The bearing would be 180 plus 82, which is 262 degrees. So you needed to work that angle where the green line is, the green angle, and then add it on to 180 for the bearing of Kim from Mike. Question 7, uh, and you have to give a reason for your answer when you calculate the angle. Angle Y, O, W is equal to 180 minus 50Y because those two angles are supplementary, so that's a circle theorem. 180 minus 50 is 130. You need that 130, so you get 50. 180 minus 130 leaves you with 50 for that triangle, y, y, w, o. So the base angles and that would be equal because that's an isosceles triangle. So you divide 50 by 2 and you get 25 degrees because the base angles and the isosceles triangle YOW are equal. That's the reasoning. And you move on to find angle M. Angle M is 90 minus 25. Where we got the 90 from and where we got the 25, remember in the previous question, we worked out N is 25. So the angle the other angle, those two base angles would be 25, and that's the angle by Y, but also be 25 in that isosceles triangle. So where radius OY meets the tangent, that's a right angle, so you take away 25 from 90, and you get 65 degrees, and the reasoning is there. That's all you have to do for that one. And we move on to question 9. The variables Q and T are related such that Q is equal to 27 all over 3 to the T. So all you do is substitute your values in. So Q is equal to 27 divided by 3 to the negative 2. And that would mean 27 divided by 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9. So when you multiply, it would be 27 times 9 over 1. 27 times 9, 243. 243 would be the final answer for that one. And part B, calculate the value of t when q is equal to one third. So you put one third for q is equal to 27 all over 3 to the t. Cross multiply 3 to the t is equal to 3 times 27. 3 to the t is 81. 
and you have to figure out what power you have to get in order to make it equal to 81 so 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81 yeah because 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 3 is 9 9 9 is 81 so t would have to be equal to 4 you multiply 3 4 times and you get 81 and that would be the answer for question 10 hope you guys understood everything if not don't worry we have some more tests coming up we have to reveal everything to you please go back over if you did not understand subscribe like and share me out I will definitely see you in the next one, God willing.